To fap or not to fap? That is the question. Wait. What is no fapping anyway? Well, according to Wikipedia, no fap is a website and community forum that serves as a support group for those who wish to avoid pornography and masturbation. Its name comes from the internet slang term fap, referring to male masturbation. All right, well, let's take a ride to set where I make movies to fap to. Even though I'm heading to set to make movies to fap to right now, my answer whether you should fap or not might surprise you. Some obvious benefits to fapping are it can keep you out of trouble and save you money. So if you're deciding whether you want to go out or go on a date with this girl you're not sure about, well, you could just fap and save the night, save your money, and you'll probably be just as satisfied. And also if you're trying to go out and get laid, go to the bar, spend a whole bunch of money, get drunk, you can just stay home and fap and you know, you'll save the money and save yourself from a hangover. So that's two obvious benefits for fapping. All right, scene's a wrap. I got lucky today and we were supposed to do the scene outside, but the neighbors were outside. So we moved inside to a bed, which is much easier. I'm definitely not a believer that ejaculating often or fapping too often or every day leads to some sort of energy decrease or robbing you of your powers or anything like that. For me, I've always believed if you don't use it, you lose it. You know, if you don't work out, you're gonna lose all your muscle and become weak. If you're not using your penis, I believe that it becomes weak too, just like any other muscle. Uh, those are just my beliefs. This isn't any kind of scientific fact or anything like that. They talk about it a lot in athletic performance, whether you should not fap or masturbate, you know, the night before a big game or the week before a big game or the big boxing match or whatever. And I've heard of some professional athletes that, that do. They, they, you know, they have to masturbate or fap before the big game and some don't because they feel that it robs them of a little bit of extra energy or extra power they might have if they didn't do it. I masturbated two or three times a day basically all through my teens, 20s and it definitely didn't affect me at all. If anything it made me better at sex and more able to control myself. I think that's a benefit of fapping too, just getting to know your body and and getting to know yourself and you know being able to hold out and stop and control yourself. So I think that's a big part of it if you never fap. How do you even know like you know, what's gonna happen if somebody touches it? You just don't know, so. I mean, I certainly haven't lost any of my mojo, you know, from masturbating two to three times a day for years. And if you go by my experience, fapping that much helps you with sex. I don't seem to have a problem these days. So to me, I think it really just depends on <clears throat> who you are. And it's really more of a mentality thing than anything. So much that has to do with our body is a mental thing. It's just a mental game, really. And the same thing with masturbating, fapping, and whether it affects you or not, it's just completely mental. So if you don't fap for a week before the game, and you have an amazing game, you kill it, you hit three home runs, or score two touchdowns, or, you know, knock your opponent out in the first round, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, then you're gonna believe that not fapping had something to do with that. Or it can go the opposite way, too. If you do fap or masturbate, you know, the night before your game, and you have a great game or match or whatever, then you'll probably believe that. That's just my two cents personally. Almost home, so I'm gonna talk about the negative effects of fapping as soon as I get in the door. All right, now for the positives. Oh, it's bright. All 
part, guys, not for the positives of no fapping. I guess the first one I think of is it's time consuming and you could be doing other things with that time that you're masturbating. You know, you could be studying, you could be working on a business, just working on your future in general, reading, you know, really anything that's positive for you. I don't know if fapping is the best use of your time necessarily. It might be fun and you might like to watch the porn and see the girls, but it's definitely not the best use of your time. Which leads me to another thing, the girls and the porn. You might actually start to think that that is real life or that's how things happen in real life. And I'm here to assure you that it's definitely not. Porn is completely staged. Everything you see, every girl on a casting couch, every outdoor pickup they do, everything is staged. All those girls are prearranged to be there, they're tested, and you just don't walk down the street and pick up a girl and do a porn scene with her. It just doesn't work that way. So, porn is not real life. You know, real life is real life. So that's another positive of no fapping, is it's not manipulating your view of life, of girls, of sex, of relationships, or anything like that. Now, which brings me to my third point, is it could really ruin your relationships. If you're addicted to fapping and just, you know, going off every day for hours at a time locked in your room, you know, it can really affect your relationships with, if you're younger, you know, your parents, siblings, friends, whoever, and if you're older, maybe your wife, girlfriend, kids, you know, everybody really. Now, porn can be a positive thing for relationships too. It can certainly help relationships that have stalled or, you know, a lot of couples, committed couples in relationships watch porn to, you know, spice up their sex life, spice up their life. So that's a benefit of porn. But if you're addicted to fapping, then the relationships in your life are probably gonna get hurt. Not to mention, really being addicted to anything is bad. But yeah, it just sucks being addicted to anything because it's something you, you have to do, you know, you just can't control yourself. So really being addicted to anything is bad. You know, porn, cigarettes, liquor, drugs, whatever it is. It's, it's not a positive thing in your life. So in conclusion, should you fap or no fap? Well, I think that's really up to you as a person. And if you find that it's something that's negatively affecting your life, you know, if you don't have time to study, if, if it's affecting your work, if it's affecting your relationships, your family, then I think you might want to try no fapping. If you're someone that can control yourself and do it when you have free time or, you know, you're home alone and you got an hour to kill and you really wouldn't be doing anything else, you know, you got everything else done for the day, well then I think it's okay to fap. So it really just depends on who you are. In my personal opinion, no fapping is taking it a little too far. I understand if you're addicted to it and you need to stop cold turkey, that's what you have to do. But, you know, for the average person, just masturbating every once in a while or relieve some stress or kill some time or, you know, set yourself up so you don't go out and get in trouble or do anything crazy like that. I think it's a positive thing. So I'm not here to tell you to fap or not, but it's really up to you. I've just had a bunch of people ask me on my YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and stuff about no fapping and I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. So I hope my experiences and advice might help somebody. Well, like I said in the beginning, fap.com or nofap.com, I guess it would be nofap.com is a website you can go to if you're having problems, if you're addicted, if it's causing problems in your life. Uh, I'll link it down below, so check that out. Um, yeah. I'm definitely not a no-fapper, but if that's what you want to do, if that's what you need to do, well, to each their own. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, share, ring the notification bell, and like this channel. Alright, thank you guys, I'll see you next time. I want to make that my new sign out actually, is the elbow. Because in porn, you never shake hands because you don't really know what's on our hands. And even fist bumping sometimes is, a lot of the times, we'll do the elbow in porn. So that's going to be my new sign off. Alright guys, check out our merchandise at shopsinslife.com.